Dear students, in this video, we will solve the problem number 8.3 from the chapter number 8. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future upload notification. So the problem number 8.3 is draw the ASMD chart. ASMD means algorithmic state machine and data path chart for the following state transitions. Here we are given with three conditions 1, 2 and 3. A, B, C. These are the three conditions. That means we will have three ASMD chart. So let us solve this one by one. So the first condition is if x equal to 1, control goes from state S1 to S2. Okay, if x equal to 0, generate conditional operation R will be modified with R plus 2 and go from S1 to S2. Okay, that means in both the cases you have to go from S1 to S2. When x equal to 0, you have to make these changes in R and you have to go to S2. And when x is 1, you have to directly go from S1 to S2. So first of all, let us have this state. State is S1. You have to write this S1 in the upper left hand corner. And here you have to define by default a reset pin. Okay. Reset underscore B. Okay. So this one is state 1. Now you have to check a condition that is whether x equal to 1 or 0. So this is a decision box. So you have to make some decision depending on the value of x. So x we have to write inside. So in this side suppose we have x equal to 1 and in the left hand side we have suppose when x equal to 0 it will go this side. The control will go in the left hand side. Okay. So when x equal to 1 the control goes from S1 to S2. Okay, that means when we have 1, it will directly go to another state that is S2. Okay, so this is state S2. So when x equal to 0, generate a conditional operation that is R will be modified with R plus 2. Okay, that means we have to add by 2. Okay, and go from S1 to S3. So for x equal to 0, we have to do some modification. So that is we have to put some conditional box here. So conditional box is denoted by this of a shaped box okay so what is the condition given we have to modify r with r plus 2 so this is nothing but add underscore by underscore 2 okay we have to add by 2 then we have to go from s1 to s2 so this is the first asmd chart so in the second chart what are, what are the given condition so if x equal to 1 control goes from s1 state into s2 okay then to s3 that means when x equal to 1 the control sequence will first go from state s1 into s2 and from s2 it will go to s3 and if x equal to 0 control goes from s1 to s3 so what we have to do we will have to first of all define this state box that is s1 first state is the s1 so here we will define a reset underscore b okay reset underscore small b so if x is 1 it will come this side and if x is 0 it will come the control will come this side so when x equal to 1 the control goes from s1 to s2 and then to s3 so first of all we have to go to another state that is s2 this is s2 and after that we have to go to s3 so another state so draw a state box here this is s3 so when x equal to 1, the control sequence will go from S1 to S2. That is, this control sequence will come through this path to S2. And from S2, it will go to S3. From S2 to S3, we need not to check any condition. Now, the second condition is, if x equal to 0, control goes from S1 to S3. Okay? So when x equal to 0, the control will directly go from S1 to S3. So x equal to when 0, this, will, this path, this control will flow. So from S1, we have to go to S3, so directly go to S3. So this is the second part of the problem solution. In the third part of the problem, it is given that start from state S1. That means here also we have to start from S1. So draw a state box S1. So here we'll have one reset underscore B. So if X and Y both are 1, 1, then go to S2. So suppose here we have one decision box this here will have x so if x equal to suppose 1 it will go this side and if x equal to 0 the control will go this side now 
we have to make we have to check when x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 so we have to check another decision okay so let us assume that this is y so this is a diamond box so when y is equal to 0 suppose it will go this side and when y equal to 1 it will suppose go this side you can take any any one okay in any direction you can take this 1 and 0 values okay so just for simplicity i am taking it left one in the left hand side so when x and y both are 1 1 it will go to s2 x is 1 it will come this side and y it will check when y is 1 it will come this side and it will go to another state that is s2 this is s2 now if x is 0 and y is 1 okay it will go to s3 when x y is equal to 1 1 s1 goes to s2 when x y is equal to 1 0 we have to see when x y is 1 0 it will go to s1 okay that means the control sequence will go from s1 to s1 okay now the third condition is x y is equal to 0 1 it will go to s3 so when x y is equal to 0 1 the control sequence will flow from s1 to s3 otherwise go to s3 so for the other case also we have to go to s3 that is what we are left with we are left with 0 0 when x y is equal to 0 0 this is the otherwise condition so what will be the condition it will go from s1 to s3 so we have checked this condition when x and y both are 1 and 1 x is 1 here and y is 1 here it will go to s2 so this one is done next we have when x is 1 and y is 0 it will go from s1 to s s1 okay so x is 1 y is 0 so x is 1 it will come this side and y is 0 it will come this side so it will go to s0 so draw this line up to here that is the state transition will be from s1 through this path and it will go to s1 again now second condition is done so this one is fulfill and these two condition if you see when x equal to 0 and irrespective of the value of y you can see that s1 is going to s3 when x equal to 0 irrespective of y means you need not to check for this y condition you can directly go from s1 to s3 okay so when x equal to 0 you can directly go to an another state that is s3 so this is the asmd chart for the third part of the problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you